Hey guys, it's Adam. Welcome back to the playground, aka the garage. Um, today we've got the Tamiya Grasshopper re-release kit. This is a kind of a late birthday present. Um, was given the money for my birthday, just never got around to getting out to the hobby shop and getting it. Went to the hobby shop, picked it up yesterday. So what I do real quick is uh, take a peek in the box, see what you get, um, and then we'll start putting it together. All right, so this is what is inside the box. First, obviously, see the body is stuck on top of the chassis, kind of a big, large bathtub style chassis. Uh, looks like the exact same chassis as the Hornet. Not 100% sure on that, I'll have to look it up. But yeah, body needs paint. We've got the pure white Tamiya for the body, and then some gray or silver and black for some the roll bars and some accents. We have the tires. We got the sand panel type tires and the kind of round ribbed tires. Um, I am getting a set of Hornet tires, the spiky tires, to actually run it on. Um, but I'll probably leave these on just when it's sitting on the shelf. Um, we have the speed control standard. Um, to me, a speed control brush brushless. So, real quick, I have seen some posts lately of guys not understanding how to wire this up for brush mode. In brushless, you have the orange wire, the blue wire, and the yellow wire. In brush mode, you only use the yellow and the blue. And when you're connecting it up, normally you're connecting yellow to yellow and generally blue to green on the um, vehicle. And the orange one on brush mode, basically just tie that up and get it out of the way. Um, in brushless mode, refer to the manual in here. It tells you exactly which wires to hook up. And generally in brushless, if you hook them up wrong, you just have to swap out the two outside leads and reverse the direction. All right, we've got transmission uh, housing, the, well, the roll rear housing, holds the transmission and the axle tubes. Uh, we've got the drive plates, motor covers, all that good stuff. Uh, we have basically the front suspension parts here, uh, servo uh, saver bits, the Nerf bars, the battery tray, the driver figure, and the, uh, excuse me, the headlights. The three-piece wheels. In the bottom, you have your instruction manual. The antenna tube, the decal sheet, yeah, decals are pre-cut, so that'll help out a lot, especially if you're getting this as a first kit. Um, you don't have to guesswork on exactly how to cut the things out, and it's greater for kids because you know you don't have to give watch them with a hobby knife or scissors while they're trying to cut them out. So that's great. Um, then obviously, to me, do's and don'ts, and you know, safe RC antenna tube. And then you have all your bits and pieces in the box that you need for hardware and motor and such. So we do have the front bumper, the diff set, so it's a gear differential, three gear differential, uh, pinion and counter gear, some rod ends, the grease, the shock springs, the front knuckles, and the shock mounts, parts bag with the shock rods and some of the longer hardware, bag A, it looks like all the tiny hardware. Bag B looks like most of the assembly screws. Uh, bag D looks like the shock sleeves um, and some of the transmission pins and such. Uh, you got your axles, the tie rods, your uh, wheel wrench and stuff, some servo tape and zip ties, plastic bushings and the one bronze bushing that goes in the transmission. Um, we are actually replacing that with a full bearing set. I got it from TRBRC. Um, really cheap. I think this was like 10 bucks for a full set. So check them out. Um, I usually go Fast Eddies, but um, I could actually get these a whole lot quicker than the Fast Eddies. Now we have the, the biggest difference between the Hornet kit and the Grasshopper kit, other than the body and tires, is the small 380 size motor. Now, I have gone ahead and ordered a 540 um, Sport Tune motor for this that I'll probably be sticking in it. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and build it with this and take it out on its maiden run with this. Um, I am seeing that, you know, I have to buy a pinion gear now because I didn't think about that. So, we'll be sticking this in for sure because I don't have the gear I need. Alright, so that's what's in the box. We'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and wet sand this body a little bit and go ahead and start working on painting this as well as building the chassis. I'll throw the build and time lapse and we'll come back and take a look at it as one piece. So see you guys in a minute.
right guys we're back we've got the car built got everything decaled out and i like the way it turned out um there were a few things that were a little fiddly but overall this kit went together super easy and would be a great first kit for anybody out there um the only difficult part about the kit i would say is these three-piece rear wheels um there's a inside uh, outside inside and then there's a centerpiece that goes inside the wheel that centerpiece that you have to put inside the tire itself um, and then the outside and inside bolt it together. Um, that is a royal pain to get in there. Uh, on my Hornet, I had to strong arm it into position on the first wheel and the second wheel, I just put a little tiny bit of grease right around the inside of the uh, rim here or inside of the tire and was able to get that insert in a whole lot easier. I did that on this one first go around and it worked super, super great. So definitely a tip. But if you want to not use grease, uh, maybe something like Dawn dishwashing liquid or some, some kind of dish soap, something that you could wash out and get rid of that um, film. That way the glue would stick, would be perfectly fine. Just something to make it easier to go in. But I really like the way that the whole car looks. It's definitely a blast from the past. Um, seeing these in the magazines and stuff growing up i always thought it was a cool looking kit and until i got this kit i didn't actually realize that the body is screwed down so the the actual hard shell body on this is screwed down unlike the hornet which takes you know standard clips uh which i mean once it's built it's built but you know to get in here and have to work on something um you will have to you know take out the four screws and unbolt the body so i can see you know if you're constantly having to tinker with something that you may end up stripping out those holes eventually. But, you know, I think you're gonna have to do an awful lot of work to <laughs> do that. Um, I did paint the rear kind of how they suggested, this little um, black piece in here, which I think looks nice, but I do think it needs something here. So I'm gonna dig around in my stash of leftover stickers from other Tamiya kits and just see if I can find like a, Tamiya, a big Tamiya logo or something to put underneath here. But otherwise, I really like the way that the decals look. Um, this area in here was a little fiddly because you have one decal here, one decal, and then one ginormous one around here. So getting this one right um, is key, and then the rest of them should follow. But this one is like the first or the second one that you put on, and you know make sure you get your placement on that. Now, one little thing I did is I did come up just a hair short right in the middle, but they give you enough little excess, I would say, when they're cutting the they're pre-cutting the stickers they're not perfectly aligned so i was able to fill in that little gap and i did take a little tiny bit you can see on top of his helmet some of that extra um coloring that they had cut off when they stamped out the stickers and i put a little bit of detail on his hat or on his helmet just to you know color match him a little bit and I went with the blue belts on here just to kind of pick up the blue and a few of the stickers for the grasshopper racing. So I thought that was a little extra kick, but the front shocks work nice. Um, now, if you guys are getting this, thinking about racing it or anything, this thing is going to be a, a pogo stick. It's just going to hop up and down on you. But obviously, grasshopper. It's going to be bouncy, but you know, that's part of the fun. Yeah, this isn't going to be a win, win a local club race with it type thing. I would have some running video, but uh, Mother Nature has once dealt me the dirty hand of raining for the last three or four days. So my yard is full of puddles and everything is mushy. So eventually I'll get out and run this guy around. Uh, my initial thought was I was gonna replace the little 380 motor in there. Um, I actually ordered a sport tune for it, but you know, I, I really don't think it needs it. I think for the car, it has bouncy and uh, springy as it is i think if i put too hot of a motor in it it's just going to be too hard of a handful to drive so i may just leave it in there and you know put the the sport tuned in one of the other cars that could use a little bit uh, more oomph but you know for right now it's pretty good all right guys well i hope you enjoyed the video this was just a plain and simple what's in the box and build video if you guys have any suggestions or comments please leave them down below it would help me grow the channel uh to learn what you guys want to see and uh, didn't like about the video, it would greatly help me out. Well, guys, I'll catch you next time, and we do have something coming up soon. Uh, I'll have some updates on the big project I'm working on, as well as probably another build soon. All right, guys, you guys be safe out there, and I'll see you later.